Hey guys, we are back in Australia after being a bit MIA. Um, so we have the new uh, setup that we've got here. So we uh, decided to go with the Hilux. Um, we went the single cab. We have talked about it and we do wish we went the um, extra cab, but it's okay. Uh, we've put the canopy on the back and we have one side is our kitchen and the other side we decided to do a shop because we've just opened another business um, as well. So this is perfect for um, markets and if we go to the beach we can uh, sell our products. So this is the rooftop we've decided to go with. It's a Swift 1400 Ironman. Um, I'll just tell you how that I put it on the canopy. I've got these um, rails here from Bunnies and I put them on top of the canopy so the rooftop sits nice and snug to the canopy. There's not a big gap in between. Lots of people asked us about the awning as well um, and how I put it onto the rooftop. So I've just got these uh, brackets from Bunnings and I've drilled my own holes in the brackets because the brackets that I got from the, the saw at the camping places they're all too small I need a bigger bracket so yeah and that's how I've done these with the ladder that comes with the light the Swift 1400 Ironman I don't recommend that ladder I really um yeah I nearly came off it and hurt myself really badly because the whole thing just fell apart so that's why I've installed the ladder onto the canopy. Um, it's pretty simple. A latch comes down like that. I'll show you guys how we uh, put the rooftop up now. So it's got these clips. Pretty easy to just pop off. They're actually really nice clips too. Nice heavy duty. Uh, one there and I've got one on the side here. Um, But I do have a bit of weight on top of the roof. Um, so this is rated to 40 kilos on the roof, on the roof racks. So let's get into the rooftop. So it does come with this tension bar and this little uh, ball here hooks into the um, bracket inside and then this extends and this is just to support your roof and give it that extra support. It also has this bungee strap uh, inside and this is designed to bring the walls in when you're closing it um, and it just makes it a lot easier when you're closing the rooftop tent. So one of the most important things about this rooftop tan um, is keeping the bedding in here, being able to close it up and that's it. Not taking pillows out, not taking blankets um, and it's just great for that. So we leave our pillows in here, we've got four pillows in here, um, two sleeping bags and there's another blanket if we get really cold we can actually leave in here as well. There's a mattress topper, the mattress. Um, and a sheet as well and it just closes so easy like it's yeah there's plenty of room yeah so this is our condensation mat um, works really well keeps it keeps the mattress nice and dry also when we got the mattress it was a bit hard on the back it is pretty hard so we end up getting a mattress topper and it's great because the mattress cover unzips so we just slid the mattress topper straight underneath that and it, you wouldn't even know, it just looks like it's just a part of the mattress now. So we have had this tent up in some pretty severe weather, um, high winds and massive rain. We did get one morning where the mattress was wet on the sides, but that was when we first put the mattress topper on and the mattress topper actually spilled over the side of the mattress and it was hitting the walls. So since then I've cut the mattress down to size and I've kind of br brought it in a bit and we haven't had any problems since. So we're thinking that could have been the, the um, how it happened. So as you can see, we've got uh, the pouches on the top here. Um, 
this one here is for your uh, tablet if you want to watch movies and it works really well uh, when we want to watch a movie at night or in the afternoon. Uh, also we've got other pouches here, um, a couple of sprays, a Bridget likes to spray in the tent to make it smell good. So this is the bungee strap that I was just telling you about. So when you do close it up, hook that and just pulls the walls in. Makes it a lot easier for when you want to close up the rooftop tent. So the best thing about this wall is that all you got to do is get something with Velcro tape and it'll stick to this wall. So what I've done is I've put Velcro on the back of this power board and you can literally stick it anywhere you want to stick it. And it comes with these zips here so we can run an extension cord, waterproof extension cord straight through. Connect it and we've got 240 straight in the rooftop tent, which is great. So that's it guys, we're just about to wrap it up. Um, would I buy this Ironman Swift 1400 again? Um, look, if my budget was bigger, I probably would have gone with the Bush Company or the um, Alley Cab. Uh, but for a mid-range rooftop tent, this is just a great tent. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with the price tag. Um, it's the same shell as the 2023 20, Sabre. Um, so, yeah, and they've, they've got really good uh, reviews and they've had, you know, good things talked about them. So, yeah, that's about it. So, guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to pack this down now. Um, so, we're going to probably speed this up again, but it really is quick. And because I've got the extra weight on the roof, I find that really helps because it kind of, as the roof goes down, I can kind of tuck the sides in uh, without me trying to push the roof down. So it kind of does it automatically for me. Make sure these little tabs as well are tucked in because the tent can get wet if you leave them out. So just make sure they're tucked in. And that's it guys, simple as that. Let us know if you guys got any questions in the comments. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. But uh, yeah, this is the Swift 1400 Ironman.